Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 16 in chapter 3. This one is a little bit difficult. We still do the calculation of our vectors. You can see they tell us we have a vector um, that has a magnitude 19 points and a y component is negative 55.0 units. So we can draw a picture and there see what happens. First thing we have the y component is negative, so the y component looks like this one. And we also the magnitude is 19 units. So the vector it has a y component negative, so it must be this one or this one. Do you agree? This one or this one. In this one, and we assume this one 90 and this one 90. Ask you first of all, what are the two possibilities of x component? You can see when the this one, when the vector is at, it's just pointing to the positive x, positive x direction. The x component is this one, and it, when it is this one, it is a negative x direction. See, there are two possibilities. And when we solve these problems, we can consider this is a triangle, okay? This one, this one, and this one is a triangle. We know this side. We know this side. It's super easy to find this side, okay? And similarly for this one, this is still a triangle. We know this side, and we know this side. So we can easily get this side. And then we use triangle rules for this one. So this side is 90 units and x square plus this uh, y component square and then we get x has uh, two possibilities uh, positive or negative the next one assume that the x component is uh, positive um, if the uh, so we can say if the x component is positive so we choose the positive value 17.1 1, 71.2 right so this vector is this one and ask you, uh, specify the vector which, if you add it to the origin one, would give a resultant vector that is 80 units long and a point entirely in the x, uh, x direction. So there, the vector that is 80 units long and a point entirely in the negative x, x direction must be this one. Agree? The x component is negative 80, y component is 0. So if we assume this vector is vx, i component plus vy, j component. And then we can do this calculation. We find the vx, do the calculation, because this one, 71.2 plus vx should equal to negative 80.0. So it is this uh, final vector minus the x component. And then the final vector, this one, Y component minus the uh, Y component for the lower vectors. So this one is 0 minus negative 50.0. And then we get is X component and the Y component. Finally, we get the final answer. Thank you.